My name is Anna Clark and I'm doing this video to support the diabetes community because we're hearing a lot in the media these days about COVID-19 and high-risk groups. So I just want to explain to you what high-risk group means and who is in these high-risk groups. The high-risk groups that you'll hear about today are those that the HSE are using. If you're listening from outside the Republic of Ireland, you will hear other high-risk groups being mentioned but we are adhering to the HSE and gov.ie guidelines. So high risk group means a group of individuals who are more at risk of getting moderate to severe COVID-19 if they get COVID-19. Now we already know about 80% of people who get COVID-19 will get a mild or asymptomatic form of it, that 14% will get a moderate form and that 6% will get a severe form. So we know that the individuals in high risk groups are more likely to get the moderate to severe type of COVID-19 should they get it. Therefore, it's important to protect these people. Currently, the high risk groups are being defined as people who are older. If you're over 60, then you're more at risk of getting moderate to severe type of COVID-19 if you get it. If you're over 75, that risk is greater. If you have an underlying medical condition, and the medical conditions specifically being mentioned are cardiac or heart problems, lung conditions such as asthma, cystic fibrosis and chronic obstructive airways disease, diabetes, cancer specifically being on treatment and high blood pressure. Now I'll note a lot of people with diabetes are taking medications to protect their kidneys. These probably are antihypertensive or medications that normally would be used to treat high blood pressure, but it doesn't mean that you have high blood pressure. The easiest way to know is, can you recall the last time that you had your blood pressure checked? Was it greater than 140 over 90? If it was, then it's highly likely that you have high blood pressure. The third group that is being mentioned as a high risk group are those people who are immunosuppressed. These are people who are currently undergoing cancer treatment or may have an underlying health condition such as multiple cirrhosis or rheumatoid arthritis and are taking immunosuppressant treatment for that. And those people who have had their spleen removed. Now I will note at this point that people with type 1 diabetes have an autoimmune condition but they are not immunosuppressed. We now know who the high risk groups are. These are people who are older, these are people who have underlying medical conditions or these are people who are immunosuppressed. We need to try and ensure they do not get COVID-19 and we need to do everything that we can do and support them to do everything they can do to protect themselves for getting COVID-19 because we know that if they get it, they're more at risk of getting the moderate to severe form of it. Please look on to www.diabetes.ie COVID-19 and diabetes to see more details on how to protect yourself and also how to prepare in case you are to get illness. Thank you for listening to this video. Please consider supporting Diabetes Ireland by making a donation so that we can help you and the diabetes community.